happens at Shays, and guess what? We're going to take you behind the scenes because there's a massive amount of work to do before opening night. We've got AM Buffalo right after this. And good morning, everyone. Welcome to the Tuesday edition of AM Buffalo. I'm John Summers. Also on the show this morning, we welcome in our friends from Living Primetime and the Wellness Institute. And they're going to get you moving in May. Plus, we have another exciting watch and win, this time for Beauty and the Beast tickets. You stay there. AM Buffalo is next. Is your bathtub embarrassing? Thinking of replacing it? Bath Fitter has the perfect solution. Bath Fitter will install a custom-made acrylic bathtub and one-piece wall system right over your old tub and wall. Transform your bathroom in just one day at a fraction of the cost of traditional remodeling. Call today for more information or a free in-home estimate. Local offices serving Western New York and Southern Ontario. Bath Fitter, the perfect solution. A little bit of exercise goes a long way. And you can get all Bally has to offer for as little as $19 down and $19 a month. Simple and true, what they say. A little bit goes a long way. So call 1-800-FITNESS and get fun and motivating group exercise classes. Call Bally. It's as little as $19 down and only $19 a month. Baby, at the end of the day, a little bit goes a long way. Watch Keith Redford on Eyewitness News at 5, 6, and 11. Good morning, everyone. Boy, we've got a, a show that's as good as today's forecast, and we hope you're sitting right there because you're going to love what we have to say this morning. Well, those suffering from late-stage cancers, any cancers, are always hoping and praying that modern medicine will come up with effective treatments in a speedy fashion. Well, this morning, there's very good news from the medical front, and we have two guests here to tell us all about it, and of course, we'll welcome your calls. Researcher Dr. Stephen Brooks and patient Neil Murray, and it's, it's, we welcome both of you today. And Thank Neil, you. we understand that you are suffering from melanoma. That's right. Until you tried this experimental That's treatment. Right. When were you diagnosed? Uh, 93. 93. And the where, first one. And where was your melanoma? Up on the shoulder, uh -huh. up in here. And you were being treated conventionally? Mm -hmm. Surgery and uh, uh, filling in with flesh and like that from different grafts so that they could take huge sections out. Mm -hmm. But it didn't seem to uh, end it. It just... It started here, and then it went down here, and down here. So it's been a continual uh, process. Now, he's got the right thing to do because he's shrinking it now. So you're Which having is the way to do. And this is what we want to talk about. Dr. Brooks, it's nice to have you here this morning. Thank you. You are telling me that we that you have worked on mm -hmm. and have come up with, I'm sure, a, a wonderful team of researchers with an injection that will help virtually any cancer patient out there. It's an effective treatment for cancer. Right. We've tried three different types of uh, tumors so far. We've been injecting patients with melanoma, with lung cancer, and with head and neck cancer. And it's a, uh, an injection of what we would call a biological response modifier right into the tumor. Very small dose of this. Um, it's, we call it GMCSF. It has a long scientific name. No side effects. And for the nine patients we've treated so far, eight of the nine have had a clinical, a favorable clinical response. Now, in this uh, in this compound that you're injecting mm -hmm. with, you're actually stimulating the patient's immune system. Right. This is an immune stimulating factor. It's used for many uh, years now to treat uh, patients who've had bone marrow transplants or radiation. It stimulates the production of white blood cells. Apparently, when it's injected into tumors, it can stimulate a local immune response against that tumor. The tumors regress, and we also see a systemic immune response. Tumors in other parts of the body regress as well. Mr. Murray's. Uh, brain tumors uh, have regressed since we've started to treat him. Now, can you give this to someone who's already taking chemo or radiation? Because I would imagine their immune systems are already very, very much affected by those medicines. They can be uh, compromised. Their immune system will be somewhat compromised by those. But unless they are seriously compromised, uh, there's no reason that we wouldn't expect that it would uh, work for those patients at well, as well. Immune therapy should be compatible with all conventional therapies as well. Now, we're, we're careful to say this is not a cure, but it's a very no. effective treatment. It's a treatment. It's a tool. 
All treatments for cancers are tools. We're now giving the physicians, the oncologists, the surgeons a new tool that they can apply. And, and in case, uh, obviously people have not heard this before, and it's because you just presented it, right, to the, to right. the medical community. This was just presented to the medical community at the American Association of Cancer Research in San Francisco just a week ago today. And, and the response was? A very enthusiastic. Many physicians who came and talked to us said that they would intended to start to treat patients with this as soon as they got home. Un unbelievable. How is this administered? It's a, um, a, an injection directly into the tumor. It's a very small volume, about five drops. Uh, we use a small needle, the same size needle you would, a diabetic would use. And Mr. Murray can tell you mm -hmm. that it's, it, it is completely painless and the side effects are, are minimal and sufferable. It's, it's unbelievable what I'm hearing this morning. We've, it's such great news. We've been sh uh, shocked and amazed and, and thrilled and very grateful for an opportunity to share this. And, and Neil, tell us w what are the treatments well, like for you? I mean, like you well, said, you're just getting a shallow needle basically right into the melanoma? It's the only thing that bothers me is going in and sitting around waiting to have it done <laughs> because it only takes an incident. They just bing bing and it's done. But. Uh, Quite often, Dr. Karakoukas will put maybe three, he'll go into three sections of this melanoma. And it's a, like a pinprick, like a diabetic mm -hmm. uh, type of needle thing. So it's really a, not an ugly situation at all. It's like the, everything that I've had done by uh, their doctors and all, the uh, one when I have radiation treatment for my brain and everything else, that was far more serious, and chemo too. Those were very difficult compared to this shot. And I think that they've got the right thing going now. If they can do this on all different, uh, well, it doesn't have to be the earliest people, because I'm not. I've been involved with melanomas for since 93 and uh, it's just been wonderful. It's absolutely fantastic that they can do this. So I can see the future. They're going to be doing things that uh, are going to be phenomenal even more so. I, I know we have phone calls and we're going to get to your calls right away. Doctor, is there a name that we're going, we're calling this when people want to call their doctor after this segment? Um. We've been calling it in situ vaccination. I-N-S-I-T-U. Uh, I don't know if that's the perfect name for it, but it hasn't been around long enough to have a name yet. And, and should we say that the phone number that we'll give at the end of the segment, is mm -hmm. that for you through Kaleida? That's uh, through Kaleida. That will get you to the Department of Surgery at Millard Fillmore Gates Hospital, and they'll be standing by to uh, take calls, take names, and answer questions, and enroll patients who might be interested. And then I had asked, I said, well, is this especially expensive, and what about insurance? And your good news there was? It's free. It's unbelievable. It's unbelievable. Now, someone would need to go back and, and uh, get, get uh, the injection a series of times, not just mm -hmm. once. Uh, yes, it, would, it appears that we need to maintain the level of this compound within the tumor over a period of time, which we haven't determined yet. That's something we're still working on. All right, let's go to the phones yeah. and find out what you have to say this morning. Good morning. Hello. Hi. Um, my son-in-law has chronic lymphatic leukemia. It's cancer of the lymph nodes. Would this be helpful for him? Because now they're just giving him chemo. Um, if there's a solid tumor mass that can be injected, it's a possibility. We haven't looked at that type of cancer. That's uh, something we need to discuss and would need to plan. But if there's a solid mass, if it's in a lymph node, it might be worth having a look at. All right. Does this mean that right now, would it perhaps not be beneficial for something like leukemia? It probably would not be uh, perfect for leukemia, mm -hmm. no. So you're better off with a a, solid, for this with a solid mass? With a solid mass. tumor, yes. Okay. Back to the phone. Good morning. Good morning. Yes, hi. Uh, hi. I'm uh, calling. Uh, my sister-in-law has a bone cancer. It's in her hip and pelvis. And I was wondering if this would be compatible for use with the, in that type of situation. Hmm. Bone cancer, hip or pelvis? Hadn't even thought of those yet. We haven't had time to think about all the different types. As you know, there's many, many types of cancers. Uh, but that would probably be something that uh, they would want to call um, the number and talk to some of the physicians who handle those types of patients. It might be something that we could be considered. 
Well, I have to tell you, Doctor, this is this is incredible. Uh, this is something I think we all hoped and prayed we would see in our lifetime. And and the research happened right here in Western New York. It happened right here at uh, the Kaleida Hospitals at um, Millard Fillmore and at Buffalo General Hospital. Well, yes. we're going to leave a phone number, and I would imagine your phone is going to be very, very busy. Congratulations. Thank you. Neil, the best of health to you. Thank continue, you. Continue in your recovery. Well, Going to try. All right, you look great, <laughs> and we're thrilled to have you here. Dr. Brooks, I'm feeling we're going to have you back sometime in the future. <laughs> I'd be honored. All right, and as we go to break, let's leave uh, that number up for you. By all means, go ahead and give them a call and find out if this perhaps might help you or someone you love. And uh, we'll be right back, so please stay right there. If you would like to get in touch with Kaleida Health concerning this morning's very topical seg uh, segment, please call 887-4807. Shea's Performing Arts Center because guess what? They are loading in 13 oh. tractor trailers, trailers for Beauty and the Beast. You're invited to be our guest. We'll take you backstage right after this. I didn't believe it was going to work. I only joined because I went with somebody else. I, I made it. I lost it. It's gone. L.A. Weight Loss Centers. Summer never looks so good. What surprised me most about the L.A. Weight Loss Program was how easy it was to follow and how quickly the weight came off. This program is not hard at all. You could do it. It made me feel great. I can honestly say it's one of the best things that I've ever done in my life. L.A. Weight Loss Centers. Call for your free consultation. 1-800-526-SLIM. There is chocolate, and then there's Fowler's chocolate. You know, real chocolate. That rich and creamy melt in your mouth, gotta have another piece, I want some right now kind of chocolate. That's what I call real chocolate. Fowler's chocolate is real chocolate. The chocolate that real chocolate lovers crave, and that's why it has to be Fowler's. Fowler's chocolates. Fowler's is real chocolate. Six locations in Western New York. Technology, experience, vision. Victa Eye Associates. If you've been told you're not a candidate for laser vision correction, now is the time to take another look. The new LADAR 4000 laser can treat nearsightedness, farsightedness, and even astigmatism, and no one else in the market has this technology. Call us today to see if you're a candidate. And with prices starting at just $7.49 per eye, a small price to pay for cutting-edge LASIK technology. Victa Eye Associates, 1-800-309-2020. Seeing is believing. When you need results, turn to Action 7 on Eyewitness News, Western New York's number one and longest running investigative unit, with Action 7 reporter Mary Travers working hard for you for over 15 years. I grew up in Western New York, and I know what it takes to get the results you need. Got a problem? Call the Action 7 hotline at 840-7788. When you need results, count on Mary Travers and Action 7 on Channel 7's Eyewitness News, your hometown advantage. Did you know that the Boys and Girls Clubs of Buffalo offers a sports program enabling youth to develop their physical agility and strength? As an alumnus of the Baird Boys and Girls Club, I urge you to give your kids a jump start on their future. Call 825-1016 and enroll them in a Boys and Girls Club today. And now it is a pleasure to take a look at our AccuWeather forecast from high atop Skycam 7. Isn't that a beautiful shot out there? We're heading up for a beautiful day today with a high of 80. Mostly sunny, breezy, very warm. We stand a very good chance of breaking the record of 81 degrees today that was set back in 1982. I'm all for that, I'll tell you. Get summer in here early. Let's get together, though, and check out what's coming up maybe a week from now with that exclusive seven-day AccuWeather forecast, and that's coming up later on Eyewitness News at noon. Oh, 
Welcome back. We are live at Shea's Performing Arts Center and the greatest love story ever told, Beauty and the Beast, Disney's Beauty and the Beast, is coming back to Buffalo. After two years ago, the tour came here, a, a record-breaking tour that uh, right here happened at Shea's, broke all sorts of ticket sale records. Well, they're back because they love Buffalo and Buffalo loves Beauty and the Beast. Speaking of love, it's very, very cool, and I'm honored to introduce to you the stage manager from this production, who is Jen Lyons, and stage manager for those of you who are not necessarily uh, cool about that term, a stage manager basically means the boss, the boss. And Jen Lyons, I'm very proud to say, is a former student of mine at Buffalo State College. And look what happens. They go Disney. Nice to see you, Jen. It's nice to be here. It's great to be back in Buffalo. Good to be home? Absolutely. Absolutely. We, yeah, I, I get home so infrequently. It's nice to be to be back here. So. Now, you personally, you've been on the road, not necessarily with just this show, for seven years with shows, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I graduated here in 94, did a year in New York, and I've been out on tour pretty much ever since. Like, pretty much I went from Buffalo, New York, and then right out. So, so that's what happens. You stage managed a production that I directed of Barry Child at Buffalo State College in 93, and you've been working ever since. A absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> so. Who would have thought? Now, now right Right now, uh, we know that, that this production will open tomorrow night here, but lots of work has to be done prior to opening. Tell, tell us what's going on right now. Uh, well, right now, we began the load-in this morning at 9 o'clock, so they have been in this morning uh, unloading trucks, bringing in all our lights and our scenery. They uh, actually did eight hours of load-in yesterday, too. We have an advance, two advanced carpenters who come in and pre-rig all of uh, our drops and, and truss units so that when we walk in, we're ready to go um, and start hanging stuff immediately. So they did eight hours yesterday, and then we started unloading the trucks right away at 9 o'clock and putting up. These are all our lights and, and uh, speakers and everything that we carry, we carry our own of, including right down to we actually bring our own floor into every every theater as well, our own deck. Um, but and that, that deck has tracks, right, that are me mechanized and computerized? It does, in fact. There's uh, automation tracks in the deck that you uh, we uh, attach our scenery to, and then it's all run through a computer so that everything comes on and off, uh, run by a computer. But also the great thing about the deck is that it's consistent for every for the actors, which is so so important to them that they're dancing on the same floor every every space. We're not relying on what they have in each theater. So Jen, the theaters that you come to are really just shells, and like you said, they are stripped down to their bare minimum. And everything that we're looking at right now, if we can get a, a live shot of, of the load in right now, we're seeing these tarps, we're seeing all these things hung, all of these lighting instruments, all of this stuff you must travel with, right? Yeah, we uh, we carry, we have 13 trucks, actually 12 trucks that we use from show to show. So these are tractor trailer 18 wheelers, right? Yeah, absolutely, like 54-foot trucks. Uh, there's 12 of those that go show to show, and then there's one truck that's an advanced truck uh, that, that we have a duplicate of, of the beginning trusses that go in so that the, like the truss unit that we used in Rochester last week has actually already gone forward to Baltimore, which is where we'll be after this week in Buffalo, and we're using the one that we used in Syracuse, which we didn't see last week. Um, so there's one truck that's in advance of that, but then we actually have 12 trucks of stuff that travel show to show, and every single thing that we travel with, we we bring ourselves, because you don't you can't uh, count on being able to get it. And, uh, beyond like the lighting and the scenery and our own speakers and our own instruments for the musicians to play, and of course, the costumes and the props but right down to we carry our own, uh, you know, copy machine and office supplies. So you are a traveling city. There's there's nothing short of that. Yeah, we're our own little we're our own little town. <laughs> um, and we, you know, we become a lot of us. We don't see our regular families a lot, so we become our, our own new family as well. <laughs> it's such a beautiful story and such a simple story. And a lot of the scenery is is almost cartoony in its beauty. And and, and Disney does nobody tells a story like Disney. But in order to make sure that that looks the same in every spot. There is a serious amount of planning, organization, specificity that can't be different every night for safety reasons, but also for story reasons, right? Absolutely, absolutely. And and that's what, what we try and do is with each theater we go into is a little different, but we what our job to do is to make sure that it uh, the show looks the same here as it did in the last town and that it looks just as good as it did in Rochester here when we when we open in Buffalo. So, so I'm, we're looking at a lot of lighting instruments right now that, that they're hanging about. How many lighting instruments are in the show? Oh, we, we have several several hundred. Some of them are moving lights, Vera lights, so that that, uh, that helps as far as um, they're, they're computerized lights that can actually move and change colors and all that, so that's cut down. Like a, like a Backstreet Boys concert light. Kind of like that. <laughs> we don't use the them Disney way. We kind of don't use them like that, but it's kind of like that. <laughs> so one instrument can work and take the place of like 10, 
that, that may have otherwise been used. Exactly, exactly. And it gives us a lot more options as far as being able to have special and different looking lights for, for each scene. And as we also see some pieces that are uh, uh, in the fly loft and kind of on their way down, can you tell us what those pieces are in the show, the red pieces and the blue pieces? Uh, the, the red pieces that you can see that have like little forks and spoons on them, those are the Be Our Guest portals. They come in uh, just for Be Our Guest. Uh, there's two sets of those. And then the blue ones uh, are are regular portals, which are what frame the stage around. Um, what's what's going up right now? I hate to interrupt you. What is going up right now is uh, actually just a blackout drop. Oh, okay. <laughs> so sadly, uh, not that not, not that exciting. Not the most interesting yeah, part. <laughs> not the most exciting drop to see. Uh, but that that hangs behind uh, our scrims so that light doesn't bleed through when when. Uh, during the top of show. So. so Jen, about how long is it going to take from start to finish to bring your city and make Buffalo your home for the next week? Well, besides the eight-hour advance that happened yesterday, we'll do from uh, 9 a.m. until 8 p.m. today, and then we'll come back in tomorrow at 9 and work until we finish, which is usually around 2 o'clock in the afternoon, somewhere around there. So it'll, it's going to be about a total of about 16 hours. And then uh, we'll come back in a couple hours before the show and do a little sound check with the orchestra and with the cast and talk to them about anything that is different here for them. Because a lot of times what you see on stage doesn't change, but their backstage show is completely different from city to city. Um, and make sure that also if there's any, um, we actually, for example, this week we have a new ensemble member going into the show, so we'll rehearse a couple things with him just for safety's sake, uh, review some stuff. And speaking of backstage, since you've been here, obviously Shays has undergone quite a change. What do you think of the new Shays? Oh, it's so it's so beautiful. It, I haven't been I haven't back, been back here in probably five or six years, and and I <laughs> walk and a lot of times people say renovation, and you think that means oh that's great they you know they mopped, <laughs> but you we walked in here this morning and I couldn't I couldn't even believe it. It's so great back here. All right, Jen, we're going to come back because we have a lot more to talk about. I want to give you a big professor hug, a friend hug. I'm so proud of you. Beauty and the Beast, Jen Lyons. It all happens in Buffalo. All the stars happen in Buffalo. We'll be back with more Beauty and the Beast live from Shays right after this. We know you want tickets for this outstanding production of Beauty and the Beast. It's at Shays Performing Arts Center. The number to call is 847-0850. You can contact them online at www.shays.org. So funny, I forgot. Hello. And still ahead on the program this morning, Gilda's Club. She made us laugh. They got this sauna there, which is a little hot room where you go to sweat like a pig. And she left. Next, only Rosie. The Osborne. <laughs> they have this show where they put cameras in their house. It's the funniest thing we've ever seen in your life. Sharon. I am now obsessed. Sharon. Sharon. Meet the leader of the Osborne pack. Oh, my God. Sharon. Sharon Osborne. I gotta meet her. Plus two more leading ladies, Mira Sorvino and Marlo Thomas. <laughs> I'm never gonna be able to stop talking about this. Next all new Rosie. What's Rosie at four? Followed by Eyewitness News at five. Buffalo Wheelchair is Western New York's leading provider of custom wheelchairs and accessories. We believe mobility provides independence whether you're at home or leaving the hospital. Your insurance may even cover some or all of your costs associated with your mobility needs. Call us today for a free evaluation or visit one of our showrooms in West Seneca or Jamestown. And if you can come to us, we'll come to you. Buffalo Wheelchair, we're here to get you there. Gilda Radner, one of the funniest women of our time who left us too soon after her battle with ovarian cancer. Hi, I'm Susan Banks. Channel 7's Eyewitness News is pleased to support the second annual Gilda's Club Celebration of Life Luncheon, Wednesday, April 24th at the Adams Park. Proceeds will open the door at the new Gilda's Club on Delaware Avenue, where people coping with cancer get support. Join me at the Gilda's Club Luncheon. Call 632-3242 for your reservation. This is our 18th year of spinning and winning. That's over 10,000 puzzles and over 3,000 gowns. That's nothing compared to two and a half million times you've clapped. That's the world's longest standing ovation. Well, our contestants certainly deserve it. Did I mention the 3,329 pairs of earplugs? Wheel of Fortune, changing people's lives one spin at a time. Weeknights at 7 on Channel 7. 
Channel 7's Eyewitness News congratulates photojournalist Aaron Clark, recipient of the NPPA Award for Outstanding News Photography. Hi, I'm Keith Ranford, urging you to take advantage of a unique opportunity. Apply for a scholarship from the Community Foundation for Greater Buffalo. Last year, Foundation scholarships helped make college affordable for 850 students in our community, so don't miss this opportunity. Call 852-2857 to apply or visit their website today. Welcome back. Actress and comedian Gilda Radner would be very proud of her legacy right here in Western New York. Gilda's Club, a place where people can come together and learn how to live with cancer, commemorates the star with an annual celebration of life luncheon. Just saw Susan Banks talking about it, and it's coming up next Wednesday, April 24th at the Adams Mark Hotel. Here to tell us more, and it's always a wonderful event, is Susan Piver and Elaine Regan. Hello, nice to have you here. Hi, Good morning, thanks for Lynn. having us. Oh, we're thrilled. And as Susan said, this is the second annual? This is the second annual annual but not quite annual because it was a year and a half ago okay that's fair <laughs> enough and Susan is going to be your, your guest MC this year Susan that's Pikes wonderful is, that's wonderful that's yeah. great Elaine tell us more about this event because it is a celebration of life it is a celebration of life and it's going to be a, an exciting event because Susan will be our MC and also because we are honoring Cindy Vastola this year who is a great person has dealt with cancer with humor and is living with cancer successfully which is part of what Gilda's legacy was. We're going to have fun because Cindy is very funny yes, in is. and of herself and also because we are going to have a comedian. Rob Lieberman is going to be doing some entertaining. We're trying to have it be a bit different and something that I think is really exciting is we are promising to have people in by noon and out by 1.30 so that as many people as possible are able to attend. And we've had a wonderful response. I have to tell you, I am personally am thrilled that you're going to be honoring Cindy Vestal. I've worked with her in uh, Diva by Diva, mm -hmm. and she is the spark plug of the company. Uh, you know, she comes in, and when she starts laughing, that's it. And we know we're going to have a great show that night. And uh, she is such a worthy recipient. You know, she is just a real fighter and just doesn't let anything get her down, so much like Gilda Radner. Exactly, a you great know? role model for yeah. people who are trying to live successfully with cancer. And Susan, the proceeds will, will continue to support uh, Gilda's Club. Well, the proceeds are very, very, very exciting this time because we're just about to close on our house. Yes. Our house, <laughs> and, our, and our house is very exciting because without a house, you can't really have a Gilda's Club. And um, we're closing on the house late in April and we not only need to close on it, but we need to renovate it so that it will be an up-to-speed, uh, nationally sanctioned Gilda's Club with a home-like atmosphere for people who uh, want to come together during their treatment or during their family's treatment for social and emotional support to be there with us, and we're very excited. Susan, you must have gotten to know her personally. Her, your husband, Dr. Stephen Piver, was her personal doctor for this when she finally got to Western New York. Uh, no. Didn't, she, didn't, he, didn't he treat uh, her? No. Oh, I thought he did. Uh, in, interestingly, he treated Gene Wilder's grief. Ah. Uh, and that's how he got in. He was not involved with Gilda's cancer, although Gilda's first cousin uh, is a patient of his mm. and is... Um, uh, well beyond uh, the five-year survival in her own ovarian cancer. Uh, but he and Gene Wilder, because of Gilda, uh, did a lot of national awareness and uh, starting, I'm sure, right here in yeah. AM Buffalo. And uh, the, I, I know Mr. Wilder, but we never knew Gilda. Too uh, bad. Well, you know, it's interesting because I remember from her book, um, she, she didn't know anything about ovarian cancer. In fact, a lot of people didn't when she first got diagnosed. She just knew there was something intrinsically wrong with her. And now that we have Gilda's Club, now that we have an awareness, um, we know the vague signs, you know, that you should go and talk to your doctor. All these opportunities that she didn't have, you know. And this is, like I, say, I, I said at the top of the segment, it's such a legacy to her because we're trying to have a support team. We're trying to find out more about this. And she didn't get that chance. And, and little did she know how many people in her own family had it. And now we realize um, when you have other related uh, mother, aunt, et cetera, et cetera, who have this and you know genetically it's passed down, what a, how, how predispositioned you are to get this too. And we have learned just so much about this because of Gilda Radner. It's a shame we lost her so young. 
Well, it is a shame we lost her so young, but she, her legacy yeah. is very much living on because Gilda's Club is an international organization now, and there are approximately 17 in either open or opening around the country and many, many more that are to come because every community wants to have the opportunity to have their own Gilda's Club. But because we're talking about ovarian cancer, we want to make sure that everyone understands that Gilda's Club is for all people living with all kinds of cancer and their family and their loved ones and whoever is really living with the cancer at that time is who Gilda's club is for because she said again in her book uh, she had the opportunity to belong to a club that no one would ever want to belong to that cancer separating yeah. people who have it from the others and this was to make them not separated and having a place to come together. Well we've got a lot of room at the Adams Mark so we want to fill up that room. Oh we sure do. And uh, it's all for a great cause and we also want to let everybody know that uh, Gilda Radner will also be celebrated right here on ABC next Monday April 29th. I think that's even two Mondays from now I'm not sure because yes. today's only the 16th. Uh, they have a wonderful wonderful one hour special coming up from 8 to 9 p.m. and you know who's going to be playing Gilda Radner? Jamie Gertz. Really real, real uh, wonderful actress and we're going to do a satellite with her next week as we start to get a little closer to that so so much going on but ladies thank you and congratulations to Cindy Bastola out there who's going to be getting the award Susan Banks will be the MC and as you start to see her ad here on AM Buffalo the PSA watch for the phone number watch for more information on how you can go and support this great group thanks Elaine thanks Susan thank you. okay All thanks right. so much for having us we'll take a break and be back with lots more Celebration of Life Luncheon will be Wednesday, April 24th from 11.45 a.m. to 1.30 p.m. at the Adams Mark Hotel. Please try to attend. Secretary of State Colin Powell tries yet again to broker peace in the Mideast. Adelphia Communications puts the Securities and Exchange Commission on hold. We'll tell you why. And it's going to be a hot one outside. You need to watch Channel 7's Eyewitness News at 5, your hometown advantage. We're keeping you out of the gutter. With gutter topper. We'll keep you out of the gutter. Nothing but water gets in. Got more time to putter, cause you won't clean gutters again. Pick up the phone, give us a call, you never clean gutters at all. We're keeping you out of the gutter with gutter topper. You know, I have to say that some of my favorite Jeopardy moments are when we play host to kids and teenagers. From 10-year-olds to college seniors, you have to remember that we're dealing with a generation acquiring information at the speed of light, and we think Jeopardy is the perfect arena in which to showcase them. Who is Jonah? Plus, they're a whole lot of fun. Yes! You know, most of them weren't even around when I started hosting Jeopardy. You really make me feel inadequate. Sorry about that. And that hurts. Jeopardy, weeknights at 7.30, right here on Channel 7. Tonight, two hard-hitting series from Stephen Bochco, starting at 9, 8 central. I never ran on cops. New NYPD Blue. Then at 10, 9 central, Philly returns. Please don't take me away. With one of the most powerful episodes of the season. This is going to be a war. New Philly, ABC Tonight. Viewer discretion advised. ABC Wednesday, looking for something to believe in? <laughs> you still believe in Santa Claus? Yeah. Believe in a new George Lopez, Wednesday after my wife and kids on ABC. I'm Action 7 reporter Mary Travers. And I'm sports director John Murphy. As parents, we were fortunate. Our sons were born healthy. But some parents aren't so lucky. 1,200 babies are born prematurely and have to fight for survival. That's why we're urging you to be a hero for the tiniest babies. Join the March of Dimes Walk America, Sunday, April 28th at Buffalo State College Sports Arena. Be a hero. Call 691-3805 and register for the March of Dimes Walk America today. Boy, we could hear that song over and over. Ah, oh, there's Mrs. Potts and Chip. 
warms your heart. And this show will warm your heart partially because of the great story. No matter how many times you hear it, if it's done well, which Disney is bound to do each and every time, it is such a gripping story. Once again, we're with former Buffalo State College student and now professional stage manager extraordinaire Jen Lyons. And uh, we're talking about Beauty and the Beast. They are loading in behind us. It looks like uh, things have gotten a little bit more interesting as far as what's coming up, coming out from the fly life. Are we looking at a, uh, a palace curtain? Is that right, Jen? Uh, this is the dining room drape. We use it uh, several times in the show. Uh, most first time and most notably in Be Our Guest. It's in for, for that. It uh, is one of the palace curtains. Yep. Very lush. Very lush, very beautiful. Now, the whole show is very lush and very beautiful. You know, this is a story that even though people know, you come and see it, and it's still incredibly touching. You've seen it thousands of times, I'm sure. I is it still a great story to you? Yeah, you know, it's great to work on a show that um, you, you go in and, and um, everywhere we go, everyone loves us. And that's besides the fact that, that I actually like the show that we're doing. It's so great that we walk in and, you know, we get standing ovations all the time and we walk into a city and everyone loves us. And it's great to do something that... Um, kids can actually come and see too that I you know I'm starting to have nieces and nephews that, like, that can come and see it as well so yeah it's it's a it's a good show so. um, since September 11th people really need that that jolt of happiness I think Disney has really stepped forward and, and been uh, that positive messenger of, of great stories does that does that make you feel good that you can spread spread that positive energy in all those cities yeah absolutely it was um, you know we were out um, uh, when that happened we were actually in California during that week and it was actually a little that was a little weird for a lot of us because a lot of people involved in in any uh, theater are, are based out of New York so a lot of people had friends and family and stuff and I think a lot of uh, I know that that came up a lot then that it what felt good about it was knowing that um, you know n not right away because it was hard but uh, to, to get past that, but that it felt like, well, people really need this, and it's nice to know that, you know, we're ta at least maybe helping people not think about that when, so. <laughs> and it's a doubly special time, because you're back home. I know it, but we're almost out of time here. You want to say hello to some people? Well, just, uh, I have a lot of family, my sister, my grandparents, a lot of cousins and stuff, and hi. <laughs> we made Jen blush. I only used to be able to it, but I finally got to it. Congratulations. We're so proud of you. you. One more uh, Buff State hug. Pleasure to have you. We're going to give tickets. We have five pairs of tickets to give away to Beauty and the Beast Wednesday night's opening night tomorrow night. We're going to give you... We're going to tell you how to get these right now at 644-9840. We have a limited supply of tickets. Five pair. We'll give some more away tomorrow. Five pair if you're going to be the lucky ones to be our guests. We want you to see one of the greatest stories ever told, Beauty and the Beast. We'll be right back. Tie a napkin round your neck, Sherry, and we'll prepare the rest. Soup du jour, hot hors d'oeuvre, why we only live to serve. Trust a Christoph. It's delicious. Don't believe me, ask the dishes.